how to build the best and easy squid farm in Minecraft. These are the resources you will need for this farm. And this is the amount of ink you will get after AFKing for one hour. So the first step to the squid farm will be to find yourself somewhere to build it, which ideally will be out in the ocean. Then after you've gone out to the ocean, I would recommend that you build this at least 100 blocks up in the air. And you will do this simply to prevent squid from spawning inside the ocean and rather spawning up in the farm. Okay, so after you find yourself the area you want to build in, which for me will be up at Y level about 180, but anyways, after you've done that, you will need to place out two blocks just like this, then place a double chest on top of those blocks, with then two hoppers going into that chest. Then to the right side of the chest you will need to place a block, with then a comparator on top of the block, then you will need to place a block going out from that comparator, with then a block on top of the block, a block to the left of the block, and then a block to the right of the block. Then you will need to place a redstone torch right here, which will be on the block that's in front of the comparator, and then three redstone dust on top of here. Then after you've done that you will need to place a block to the left side of the chest, expand this by two more blocks going upwards, then you will need to expand this block going 13 blocks out to the left side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then after you've done this, you will need to turn this way and then build this 15 more blocks going backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then you will need to build this 15 blocks going left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then after you've done that, you will need to turn left again and then expand this by 15 more blocks going backwards. Sorry, I mean 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. And this should pretty much hit where the hoppers are. Then after you've done that, you will need to fill in this square with blocks. Also, this can be built out of any blocks, even dirt. Okay, so now that we have filled out this platform, we will need to start with the railings. So to do that, you will need to place three powered rails right here. Then after you've done that, you will need to place four normal rails going left. One, two, three, four. Place two powered rails, one, two. Then basically fill out normal rails until you get to the end. Then turn it around right here. Go back. Two powered rails. Then just continue with normal rails right there. Also, this will try to link up at the end right there, so you can simply destroy this powered rail. Turn this around, place this powered rail back, just like that. Then simply continue this around again, powered rails, turn this all the way around or continue this around. Then just continue this until you get to the other side, just like this. And then when you're getting close to the end, just like I am right there, you will need to leave one empty railing right here because you're going to place a powered rail at the end right there with then a block right at the end of that powered rail. This is of course so the minecart that will be traveling here can hit this block and then go back. Then after you've done this, you should have something looking like this. So what you will have to do now is activate all the powered rails. Now you can do this two ways and that is by either placing a redstone block on the right here instead or you can do what I like to do to save some redstone and that is to simply use a lever. And pretty much what you will have to do is go under each block that has a powered rail on it, place a lever, le lever I mean, flick the lever on and the power rail should be turned on. And obviously when you have power rails right next to each other, you only need to use one lever. Head under here, place the lever, flick it on, power rails are on. Then do this with all of these blocks. And boom, when you reach the end, all the power rails should be turned on. Then after you've done this, you will need to pretty much place a magma block above all of the railings. So then just do that. Okay, so after you've done that, you will now need to head down here and place a hopper minecart on top of one of these powered railings, and now it should start going back and forth. And the minecart will pretty much be how we collect our items. Okay, so what we will need to do now is build a wall of blocks going all around what we've built so far, or pretty much the magma blocks. So to do that, you will need to place a temporary block in the corner right here, then build two glass going out from that block, then you can destroy that block. And to say you don't need to use glass right here, you can build this out of stone, smooth stone, dirt, obsidian, whatever you want. I like to use glass, the simplest one I'm standing AFK, I can watch the squid, and simply because glass is pretty easy to get and it looks nice. So anyways, after you've done that, you will need to build a wall of glass or whatever block you choose to use going all around the magma blocks. So we're going to start with placing one layer of glass because we're going to use a little trick. So we're going to need to fill up all of this with water, but as you might know, filling up a big area with water can be a bit annoying because you will have to place individual water sources, but I do not mind because we don't have to do that in this one. Also, I just realized something cool with the glass. Can you see the glass? We can see through the water at the ground of the ocean. But anyways, what you will need to do now is place water on pretty much one side of the farm so pretty much just like this and then you will need to do it on the second side so pretty much right here too or you can do this on the other side as long as it's not that side or the side that's to the opposite of the water we first placed but anyways after you placed all the water right there and right here or right there and right there this whole thing will fill up and everything will become an infinity water source as you see so anyways after you've done that you will now need to expand this glass wall going around the farm by one more block going upwards then after you've expanded this going upwards, you will need to do this water trick again, which you can do by simply crouching at the end of the block and placing the water, just like this. Then you will also need to do that on this side, of course. And after you've done that, the water will fill up. So after the water has been filled up, we now need to expand this wall around, you know, what we have built so far with the water and that. One more block going upwards, this will be the last time we build this going upwards. So anyways, then do that and yeah. And then after you build the wall around one more block higher, you will then of course need to do the same water trick one last time. 
on booms. Now the farm is pretty much done, but we have a couple notes to say. And one will be maybe building the perfect AFK room for this. But before we do that, I want to tell you one thing. And that is that if you decided to build this wall going all around and with any other kind of block that mobs can spawn on, which of course does not include glass or leaves. So if you, for example, build this wall of smooth stone or any type of block like this, you should place a layer of slabs on top of here to prevent mobs from, for example, accidentally spawning on top of here. Of course, so that will usually not be a problem, but you can do it if you want to. Because for some reason with squid farms, depending on where you stand the AFK, they can be a bit annoying for squid to spawn. And the reason for this might be related to your chunk simulation distance. But anyways, no matter what you have that on, to get kind of the perfect spawn platform or at least the AFK room that I found to be the best, you will need to build 23 blocks going out from magma cubes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Then you can of course destroy these blocks. And then you will need to build this block six more blocks going upwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can destroy the bottom blocks. And this is the block that I like to stand AFK. And as you see, some squid spawned because you can see some ink there. So yeah, that is pretty much that. So all you need to do now is just stand on this block and wait for all the squids to spawn. As you see, more squids are spawning, a huge little family of them, and they are dying because of the magma cubes. So if we just wait a bit, we can fly back and you will see that the minecart is picking up all the squid. It will take some time for it to get back, but it will be able to pick up the squid with plenty of time left. And then it will of course stop at the end here and drop off all the items, and then continue going back. So anyways, while the squids are spawning and dying in the background, I wouldn't say that that is it for this one. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about how this farm works or have any problems building this, feel free to ask the questions down in the comments comments and I will answer your questions as fast as I can. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.